Hello everyone, it's springtime. Time to dust off the old clubs and get ready to do some golfing because that's what you do in the springtime, right? Uh, sure. Go. Let's just get a little practice in. Another try. This one's gonna be better. This one's gonna be a lot better. Hmm. Now I know how to golf. supposed to do? I can't golf. It's springtime out and I suck at golfing. What am I supposed to do? What can I do? Golden tea? What's this? A video game? Golden tea golf? Up to four players? Works on all TVs? This is probably what I need to be doing, not this. Let's get out of here. Okay, everybody, now that we're back inside the house in our comfortable room with our TV and we're ready to play some golden tea golf, man, enough of that stuff out there in the real world. So today we're taking a look at this one. It's golden tea golf, plug and play from our good friends at Jack's Pacific. This game comes to us all the way from back in 2011. And this plug and play takes the usual four AA batteries, sadly does not have any port anywhere on it for a power adapter or something like that so that you wouldn't have to keep feeding it batteries, but from what I've played, it doesn't seem to burn them through too fast. All right, so when you get started, you have to pick how many golfers you're gonna have. You can do up to four people at a time, you just pass the controller around. And actually, the thing that I really like about this is the cord on it. Unlike some companies like Nintendo, when they make a plug-and-play like the NES Mini, and they put a cord on there that's about two inches long, this thing's actually almost 12 feet long. That's a pretty long cord. Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah, I know. I know. But that is a pretty good-sized cord. For a plug-and-play console, you can actually sit back from the TV and play this thing. It's kind of molded on the back, it's curved so that you can set it right on your knee if you need to, and roll away on that trackball. So you plug it in, you get started, you got casual, skins, practice, challenge, and options. When you're only playing one player, you just get casual, practice, and options, but the other ones are for more than one player. And since this plug-and-play is meant to emulate the arcade experience, the you use the trackball to swing just like you would in the arcade. Pull it back and push it forward to swing with all the different combinations of different angles backwards and forwards to make different shots hook or go straight or slice, whatever you like. Up, it's golfer one. That's also how you screw up in the game when you don't do it right. This one looks good. So the graphics here aren't anything crazy, nothing to really get excited about, but it does kind of look like the arcade version of the game. The only time it gets really bad is when you get up close to something and the textures on here are even lower res than Minecraft. This one looks good. The one cool thing I like about the options that you normally wouldn't expect to see in a plug-and-play like this is that you can actually calibrate the controller and it saves data too but the calibration of the controller is important because not everybody's going to be able to spin the ball just the right way and this gives you a little bit more accuracy although it's not perfect but hey it's better than nothing so pretty easy controls roll the ball left and right to select your clubs and then 
roll it backwards, roll it forward to swing. There's also a button to turn your golfer to the left or right. It kind of just shifts you one big chunk at a time. You know, you're not a lot of in-between room one. there, but hey, you can get kind of in the direction that you want to aim. And then there's also a button to add some backspin or some topspin to it, depending on what you think you're going to be doing with the shot. Overall, I mean, hey, for a thing up. that's just a little tiny plug-and-play that you stick some batteries in, I'm having a good time with it. Played this game with my three-year-old son, and he's loving it. Easy controls, it's and it's fun. For one, for par. The only real downside to this is that, yes, the graphics are pretty for one, primitive for by today's standards, and it is running on batteries, which you will eventually have to replace. And also, the fact that the announcer has maybe like three or four different things that he says. Golf for one at the tee. Next up, it's golf for one. This one looks good. Are you kidding me? Oh, this one might be trouble. Get used to those sayings because you're going to be hearing them a lot. And then, because remember, this thing was made back in 2011, the announcer also oh, says one, one thing in here trouble. which may trigger a whole bunch of people. Everybody get ready. I'm oh, warning you, this could trigger... Does your husband play? Over to I guess back in 2011, they didn't think it was uh, that big of a deal. All I know is there's plenty of girls that I've seen golfing that can absolutely Golf whoop one. me out on the course, that's for sure. So anyway, as we go through the three different courses, the first one is Palm Springs, oh, and just like you'd expect, it's got a bunch of palm trees, some desert environment back lie. there, things like that. This one looks good. The next course they have is the golf course at Cumberland. But this one's more of an East Coast rolling hills in the fall time kind of a course with all the colorful trees. But don't get too close to the colorful trees because they look like someone vomited color all over a tree shaped thing. This one looks good. Golf for one with the honor. And then the final course that's here on this plug and play is the Coral Vista Country Club. And this one is what you would think a this Coral Vista. Good. You're near the ocean. There's some palm trees. There's some water. The Golf thing with these one. different courses is that, yes, the trees change and the background changes, but the gameplay remains the Golf same. There aren't even any like different birds or anything like that that you hear in the in the background. It's pretty much just cut and paste a different background onto a bunch of holes. But hey, we'll take it because it's a plug and play. Now I actually found this plug and play out at the flea market about a year ago, and I think I paid all of about five bucks for it, which was really cool. I thought, eh, we'll give it a try. Might be kind of fun to play with the kids. But now I'm looking it up on Amazon just to see, just curious. The cheapest one they have out there is about 50 bucks. The average being about 60, maybe 70. There was even someone on there trying to sell this thing for $150. I don't really think it's worth 150, but maybe if you're going to have a whole bunch of friends over and everybody seems to like golf a little bit and you're going to be hanging out and partying and stuff like that, this could be a fun diversion, especially yelling back and forth with each other. It's one of those kind of games where you could play it alone, but there's not a whole lot to it. So it's kind of fun, but anything that you play in a whole big group of people and everyone's laughing and having a good time makes it a lot more fun. And this one's easy to do that with because of the fact that it just has batteries in it and that really long cord that attaches it to the TV so that you can easily just pass the thing around. Everybody takes their shots. And I think it's a whole lot of fun. So maybe if you're looking to have a party or something like that, this would be fun to pick up. But otherwise, maybe just keep an eye out for it if you see a good deal somewhere. Really, of the plug-and-play consoles that I've played before, this one isn't too bad. It plays very much like the arcade game, looks a lot like the arcade game, and it's got some real good fun to be had. So I'm going to say Jack's Pacific on this one in your plug-and-play oh, TV series yeah, games. I think this one, you hit it right on par. Not quite good enough to be like a birdie or an eagle or hole-in-one or anything like that, 
but it's certainly not a double bogey. Oh. So anyway, till next time, everybody. Remember, you never outgrow video games. My name's Chad the Gaming Dad, and this is Dad's Games. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. So long, everybody. It's in the hole! Thanks again for watching. If you liked that video, please press like and subscribe. I love hearing from you guys, so leave your comments and any suggestions down below. Remember, there's tons of other gamers out there just like you and me, and they also know that you never outgrow video games. Feel free to share these videos all over social media, Twitter, Facebook, or whatever you use. This channel is for all of us. Let's make sure they know that they are not alone. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.